It's here. We found it. Thank you, Perkins. Don't mention it, Clara. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svarog, he... he's my family. I met Mr. Svarog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarog doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Sparrow wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes. Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarog won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarog. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara! What are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... 
I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Getting late. Where to now? We're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just... There are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? <sighs> Clara? <sighs> if she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. Still, 
It means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I'm sure they won't mind. They seemed in good spirits. <laughs> I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Ready? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. Nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that's something to be proud of? <laughs> well, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian. All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy, Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. 
That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. Wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, uh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Ole. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the dock like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless, 
Turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> it only got settled after Boss Farag showed up. I said it before. Only Boss Farag can protect us down here. Everyone should follow his lead. Well, what do you think? Cat got your tongue? Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But, but it's true! What else is there to say? Hey, take a look at all these good-for-nothings. They'd starve to death without him. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters? Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Hm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this game. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. A uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Sforog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... the... Uh, special. one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. 
Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. Sometimes you gotta ask around if you wanna know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision of gray. You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Orders that keep him and home far apart. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackling flame, flickering light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth leaves a city behind. Scraping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound of your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight. Now the blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost to the snow. Another bella bug night, the hate the lies just can't hide, yeah. A gaze cold as ice while the world passes by, yeah. Another bella bug night, a find the lies can't abide, yeah. On his face one last smile, a sign the sun always rises, yeah, yeah. Launching stage one processing. Who is the reigning ch Correct answer. Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. <laughs> Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? You don't know the answer? That's lame. It's back to school for you. No, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? 
Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Riddle me this. Huh? Lucky guess. Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. What are you doing? I meant her. Give me your hand. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. There, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. Ha! <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Yeah! Let's make it quick. Ha! I have something for you. Behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? <sighs> At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. So bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. 
we must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? Another gate here! It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again! Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan! Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh. Weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core is bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? We were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. for you. Hope you're prepared. Perhaps you still don't have humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Reach the end of the story in your own way. at all. <laughs> Let's go. I have something for you. You won't get away. Is 
isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be in the mind. Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. I'm with you. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. A thousand wonders! <laughs> fight is fun! Hope you're prepared! You won't get away. I have something for you. In the name of Landau, we'll forge an ice. Never falters! Let's be friends. Rules are made to be broken. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him, face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here. But Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. 
Mr. Swarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'm always trying to convince Mr. Svarog. Please give me more time. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Hmm, <clears throat> precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her.